Now we are going to count and see how many consecutive matching striations. Consecutive matching striations. That's CMS Kenneth. Let's go in, in the application of that method. I, I, I've, I've put a, a water bus there that I will ask you to use uh, for, for the court and then you lend me your, your pointer so that I can, I can point you out. Uh, I'm still saying the water bus will not work in this. Will not work. It won't. Oh, how I love it when a plan comes together. Remember, last week Friday, they had to adjourn because Omnisi went shopping, okay, for the rulers and the levers and the vatan pass, okay, and he did what? And he came back with them, and then the others had come back with another plan that Mangena must go back to the lab and bring a big chart. Do you remember that plan? Nisi's plan was the right plan. The defense should have stuck with that one. Because guess who today, well, yesterday at the time you're watching this, guess who yesterday was refusing to now use the levers? Hmm? Guess who was refusing? The measurements of precision. Okay, the devices used to show precision in a courtroom. And Mshalala says, you give me your pointer and you take this and you go ahead and use it and point it so everybody in the courtroom can see the striations that you can see. Because don't forget, we need six complete striations. Okay, same height, same width. And I think uh, same length, same length, okay? Six times, you got to do it six times. But if you don't find six, that's okay. Because there's an exception. You have to find two groups of three. So this is the exercise that Umsholalo is walking Mangena through. And he is refusing right off the gate to walk through the gate. But you know, a girl, a queen like Umsholalo, excuse me, a queen like Umsholalo knows exactly what she wants and she will walk you to the river, okay? She doesn't care what you think about her thought process. We are going to the river. And my Lord, you better not come to the arena because this is going to be a practical class. Let's get into it and see what Mshololo does. Sorry, do you ever use a butter pass? No, you don't use butter pass. Have you ever pass. used it? I have never no, used no, it. Seven, seven, Your seven, colleagues seven. at the laboratory, have they ever used it? You no, don't use it. Okay, you don't use it. Okay, come on. Butter pass. But, uh, okay. so it's for building, if I, I recall. Butter pass for the lines Penance? of a brick. With due respect. With due respect, I respect you. I'm not undermining you when I'm asking you to assist me in using that tool. I know it's not from the lab, but it's the way that I want you to understand me to see the lines there in the court chart. You understand, Kenneth? I'll take you through uh, each and every lines, but I want, uh, I want you to show us there I'm still saying the water pass will not work. Okay. I'll show you some. If I'm holding this water pass, I draw a line there. The person who sits there doesn't see the line that I'm drawing because it's below the water pass. It's in line with the, 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 the length of my eyes. I can see that line. But someone who sits there will not see that line. So it will be like I'm showing the line that is not there. Okay. The problem is that the pointer, in the pointer, you were saying it's there. But I want you to take me through the line to see if it's lining up from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. Maybe you can use your hand or maybe a pen to show me that here is the line. Here, this is how it goes up to the end. You know it better. If you can just take me through. We are going to start with That one is uh, Exhibit X13E1. Okay. Then we go to Exhibit X13E1. Can you follow me a pointer, please? May I take it across, my lord? What's it? It's a Quote pointer. Yeah, I know.
Thank you, Kenny. You see, in the, um, my Lord, I'm using Exhibit X13E1, the, the original one. Uh, I'm not sure how we separate them. You see this one, the first, the first chart, the first court chart, not the one mm -hmm. that was introduced during cross-examination. Okay. Yes. So, you see, this dry I'm not sure whether your eyes, you see this dry sheen. It's going on both sides. Correct. Yes. That's correct. Okay, yes. But underneath that, there are two dry sheens that do not match. One second. Maybe for the sake of the record, if the dry sheens have been numbered. In the record, don't be able to distinguish between this striation and that striation. If maybe the numbering yeah, okay. of the striations can be used. Okay. It means let go. Uh, it's so unfortunate that when you were leading this evidence in chief, you did not have these marks and these errors. And you went through and you were flying with this chart. Now that I'm taking you through this chart, you are unable, but I will, I will, I will, I will, I will uh, no, respond. No, that's, that's incorrect. Why do you say this witness is unable? Where do you get that from? Let's proceed with the second yes, exhibit. One thing about Judge Rata's courtroom, you cannot talk down to a state witness, okay? I repeat, you cannot talk down to a state witness. You heard the judge jump right in. What do you mean he is unable? He is unable. He's been saying it. He doesn't want to use the Vatan Pass, okay? And what? He also doesn't want to answer Mshololo when she's pointing out the obvious, that there is no match, sir. What are you talking about? And what does Valoi do? Because they now see they're all cornered. Or is it just me over processing? Baloy interjects and says, you know what? I think you should use the numbers because, you know, you should use the numbers. It is labeled for the record because how is the record going to know how to distinguish between this and that? And, you know, my response to this, just like I'm sure Lolo said, how dare you, Baloy? How dare you? Because when you led the evidence in chief, it was this and that. And Mbali and them had no problem. Maybe that is why Mbali did not transcribe. She just couldn't take it anymore. She couldn't take the this and that and just called it a day and said nobody is going to notice anyway because they're just talking about this and that. Wow, Baloi, the nerve, the audacity. But Mshololo said, I'm not going to let that one slide. I'm going to call a spade a spade. The state led you through with this and you all were all fine with it. Hmm? You were cruising nicely on the N1, Mangana. It was good. You could explain everything. You had no struggles. But now that I'm asking you to point, there's a little bit of difficulty. Wow. If there was anything that showed that Mangana was incompetent or that he makes things up as he goes to suit a narrative for example let me just go right ahead and go pick up a gun in cleveland and nobody in the lab knows that i've done this you know what i'm digressing i'm digressing because this is really upsetting but let's continue on with umsholalo because she is building her house from the foundation up and mangena will assist her whether he likes it or not. And shout out to Mshololo. She ignores the judge for the third time. In this clip alone, she's ignored him three times. Kudos to her because she's not, she's not here for him. She is here to prove her client. And watch as well. Okay, watch him every time Mshololo scores a goal. <laughs> Because I was following, I was taking you through, uh, through the first one, which did not have marks. <laughs> which did not have marks on the Yeah, yeah, on the test. Sorry? Which marks, did not have marks on the Marks like this one. You see, this one is numbered one, two, three, four, up to number six. I'm saying the first one did not have these marks of which the state is asking me to direct the record through it. Hello, the first one and this one is the same photo. 
Yes, it's the same photo. So that's why I was also <coughs> used, taking you through this one. But the state is now saying that I must use this one so that the record will understand the number of striations or the position of the striations. Do you understand that, Kenneth? No, I understand, but when you say they are not there on the side, I've explained yesterday that if you look at your bullet, if your bullet has bent a little bit in the middle, there won't be striations there because they will not be transferred to your exhibit. Your exhibit will not be touching the surface of the barrel. Of the barrel. No. But if you look towards the end there, at point number three there, is the same striation that you're talking about. The yeah. side. I'm saying the same I'm still coming there. I'm still on the error, error number two. That's error number two, which I was trying to show you. Two, it's this one. Eh? I was trying to show you in the first exhibit. It's this one. That's the strategy number two. Do you agree with me? I am saying to you, or my question is, between the striation number two and the striation number three, you see, there is a break because there are three striations that do not line up that do not match on the other side, which they only appear on the left-hand side, but they do not go to the right-hand side. But the same striations of my parents Number two. Number two? Yes. Please watch. As I said, if your bullet is not straight, there won't be striations because it does not touch the other. Okay, so I'll continue. Yeah, they are. Yeah, because they are. you are talking about. That's correct. Please. Yes, if if you go, it doesn't match with this one. They match here. They are not that clear. They are not that clear. Okay, let, let's agree that's to a, say they are not that clear. Yes, it, it comes. So while a judge. <laughs> So uh, while Mshololo is beaming it over there, okay, using the pointer and Mangena is at the screen, I imagine pointing at things and Mshololo is pointing too with the pointer, the laser pointer. The judge is looking very, very distraught, very frustrated, very irritated. And not only that, as I'm still watching him and saying, what is going on? Where does he want to go? He is the judge. Like, what is he impatient about? Does he not want to get to the bottom of this like the rest of us? And then he lets out a complete sigh. Absolutely audible. And I hope when they transcribe, they also transcribe and then the judge sighed. Because I think that the mics, I, oh, what am I saying? My, my words disappeared there. I think that the mics are identified. So mic one, Mshololo. So they'll know Mshololo said this. Mic two, um, witness, Mangena. Mic three, okay. Here I am trying to help the transcribers out. Mic three, Judge Rutter, size. We're going to need that on the record. Please, I insist. Because what in the unprofessionalism is that? And why does he do that when it is Mshololo? Does he have issues with Mshololo? That's what I really want to know. Because Mshololo has definitely been ignoring him and not giving him the time of day. Does he deserve that? I'll let you discuss that among yourselves in the comment section. But my question is, why let out a sigh? What is she supposed to do? stop her cross-examination like she literally just started just a few minutes ago he's already frustrated oh, let's get back into it Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, just for my understanding. Is it not because the bullet is cylindrical? That's correct. It must be. The surface of the bullet is not cylindrical. cylindrical. Uh, okay, That's why it uh, uh, Okay. And then also let's look between error number one and error number three. Number one and number two. Sorry. Number one, number two. Just a minute, just a minute, my lord. Just a minute. Thanks to the cameraman for changing the angles. We get to see Umlungu, okay, consulting with Umshololo and, you know, showing her the ropes, walking her through so that, you know, Amangena doesn't get her to trip with her words. Look at him explaining. He takes such time and consideration and we love it. So, Canel, are we in agreement that between error number two this striation and error number two and three, this striation that we have pointed out to say it appears towards the end, we are saying it's not clear, visible, clear enough because it's not straight. It's it's because of the cylinder bullet. Uh, it's because the bullet is not straight. Uh, I'll try and explain it. If my hand is a bullet and it's straight, my hand is in contact with the water pass for me. But if my hand is in this position, it's not in contact with the bullet completely. So if you look at the center part, it does not come into contact with the bullet. Okay, so but the front part is in contact with the bullet and the back part is in contact with the bullet. So if there are any striations on this, will be created towards the back and will be created towards the front. So the center part will not have the striations. Yeah, that's why I want to add, I want to verify to say, do I understand you correctly to say it's not clearly visible because of the make of the bullet? Not necessarily the make of the bullet. How the bullet reacted when the shot is fired? It could be that the center part of it. Remember, there's pressure. What happens when the shot is fired? Okay. The propellant powder that is burning <laughs> turns into gas. That gas pushes the bullet into the barrel. Okay. Now your bullet is a little bit bigger in diameter than the barrel of your firearm. Okay. So there's pressure from behind pushing the bullet into the barrel. And because it does not fit there, it's a little bit bigger. The pressure that's coming from behind will push it. At one stage, it will sort of contrast a little bit, creating a curve line where some part of the bullet will not be in contact with with the, with the barrel of your father. So there won't so be marks. We won't have car. clear marks, okay. That's correct, ma'am. Okay. I just want clear marks and not clear marks. So, Kennel, I put it to you that there, on the striation, which is which you have just indicated, that is not a visible striation, and therefore it means it's a break. It means it's a break, and therefore it does not give the consecutive marks, which you can count from one to six. Striations to six matching striations. Consecutive. If they are not visible, does not necessarily mean they are not there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, my lord. Can I ask that we take a short break? And then we we'll proceed after tea break. That's the time.
Well played, Mshalala, requesting a short break so that she can talk to Umlung Wetu, okay? And Umlung Wetu can coach her through the sentences that she's got to say to emphasize, to put on the record, because Umlung is not agreeing with what Mangena is saying. Is, is that what you guys also picked up? Type a one in the comment section for Umlung Wetu, okay, who is here, or should I say who was here on a Friday representing the defense team. But you know what else we need to type a one for? Type a two in the comment section for kudos to the defense team for even considering to hire a ballistic expert. My question is, what do they do in other cases? Do they all get ballistic experts, private ballistic experts? How do they ask all these questions? I think I would say kudos, kudos, kudos to the defense team for taking on that decision. Expensive decision, even though legal aid is trying to, you know, stop Umlungu's bag, okay? We can see him hard at work, okay? He is working for his coin, okay? He is coaching Umsholo through consistently. Anytime Angena says something that is not in the ballistics world, because think about it, it would be so easy for Mangena to say jibijabun. He can just say that, okay? He can just say striations are green. How would an attorney, an advocate, a lawyer, a counsel, a judge, you and myself, a jury member, how would you even know? Because it's not like you can sit in the courtroom and start Googling stuff. Do you know what I mean? So I, I really love this for the defense team and for the five accused, okay? But do you know what I also love? I love it when you guys like, comment, and subscribe. We have reached the end of the video. Show the video some love. I absolutely I love it. It is the weekend, okay? Let me know know what you are up to as well thanks so much for watching i will catch you where on my next upload you already know if you're watching from outside the club i already know you're watching from outside the club do you know how many people are watching from outside the club it's about 65 percent now think about it if we're at forty thousand subscribers Work with me, work with me. And the 65% that are watching from outside the club, that's above 50%. That will take us to 100,000 subscribers. You lose absolutely nothing. If you just, you know, just tap the screen right there, just hit the subscribe button, and then you'll see the colors jump up and down, different color coordination. Don't even turn on the notification bell. It's okay, it's okay. I, I understand. I'm just asking the small little favor, Nyana, okay? Please hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you where? On my next upload.